Oh, sensational. And that's how you do it, ladies. You go to dinner with a guy, you fucking have a great time. Towards the end, you start to act crazy. Tell them all the medication you're on, and then you get a free dinner, and they'll never talk to you ever again. Follow me for more life tips. So simultaneously, I've seen women online talk about how men should be paying for first dates. Absolutely, even though they call themselves feminists, they need a man to roll out all the stops, really spoil them to show them that they can afford to be their boyfriends or even husbands and just to let them know that they're serious. But also you have women like this who are openly admitting that they will take advantage of a man paying, even though they have no interest in actually dating him, simply for a free dinner or, you know, for free tickets to a concert or an event or whatever it may be and it's like this is why some men have trust issues and frankly i don't blame them and as women we need to call out women like this because this harms all of us we don't want men to think we're all just insane grifters like this lady clearly is normally and typically in an arab household the man usually is the provider financially um and that's just how it is um that is just something i wasn't uh, prepared for what Most Arab women expect that. Just like most um, American people expect the woman to contribute half, or not but, half, just, but just you're, contribute. You're, but you're not dealing with an American woman. No, but so. I think she'd have to deal with some of my things though too. This was definitely not what I wanted to hear. I thought Moroccan women prioritize family over material things, and I was not anticipating that. It would mean I have to be the sole provider for a household. I didn't sign up for this. Beta. If you're making 100K a year, how much do you want your guy to make? Like, we'll say a good 400. 400,000. 400, 400, yeah. 100K guy? a year? That's a lot. I would say 200. 200. Oh. I would say 100, like the same. Yeah. Okay. You know that only the top 15% of the US is making 100K, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, yeah. I guess I expect the most. <laughs> 150, 200. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking 400. Okay. No, that's 400. So much. No, that's okay. no, too much. It's absolutely hilarious how the dude in the Arab country was losing his ish on being a sole provider. Meanwhile, these other chicks are expecting 400K. If you're tired of dating men that can't support you or aren't at the level that you are at, you've got to check out Lexi Dating. Lexi is an exclusive community full of high end and successful individuals. So if you're tired of dating men with no direction, you should check out Lexi Dating. Men, it's time to leave the dumb who think the average man's salary is six figures in the dust. If you're tired of dating annoying independent boss babes who think they're elite, when they're average at best, check out Trad Wife Dating. It's a community of kind, respectable, child-bearing individuals. So if you're tired of dating girls who accuse you of having no direction, when they medicate themselves for having no direction themselves, check out Trad Wife Dating, where a woman knows her place. You wanna say one? Yeah. Guys, now while this is a good idea, hear me out here for a quick second. An app like this would never work, why? 
Think about the apps today, right? They ask guys for their height, but they don't ask women for their weights. Why? Because without women signing up to these apps, they wouldn't exist. Men wouldn't go on these sites and try to look for women. If you have an app where the woman has to be accountable, <laughs> like it just won't exist. Like the women won't go on that damn app. Like, like, ah, oh, y'all gotta hold me to task. I need to be accountable. I'm modern, god damn it. I don't wanna be accountable for shit. <laughs> so let me go on the Tinder and swipe left a thousand times while asking where did all the good men go? More often than not, women love, adore, and respect strong stroke game. Not the rabbit shit. The rabbit shit is different. That's whack. Okay. But the strong pound. No? I don't. We're Connie. She's on speaker. Hello? Wait, wait, hold on. Don't say nothing else. Just real quick. Rate the stroke on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, it depends. On? on how I'm feeling about you in that moment. Generally, though. Uh-huh. Um, generally, I would say, like, between an 8 to a 10, depending. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call you back just a little bit later, all right? Okay. All right. Not bad. Eight to ten? Eight to ten? She said, depending on how I feel about you. But that's her, though. Oh, my God. Pew, pew, pew! Fuck the neighbors! Fuck the neighbors! Uh. What's up? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, you like that shit, Melly? You Sit down, girl. You like that shit? Sit down. You like that? Sit down. <laughs> you like... understands how they move. He understands the motion. They say he's the ghost. He understands what they want. On my way to my engagement party, thinking of my ex. The nerve of you. If anybody knows who her more than likely now husband is, send this video to him so he has the information to go and get it annulled. Imagine a world where you marry a woman that has to post things to the internet just like this in lieu of how it makes you look in or feel as a man. We're looking at a future Will Smith. To think that she's posting this to the internet is absolutely mind boggling, but to me she's giving off that strong Jada Pinkett energy where she will undoubtedly will be involved with an entanglement in the future while she continues to post embarrassing ish about you. So it's best that you end that marriage before you end up like Will. Monogamy was invented by men. Men need monogamy. Because they wanted to, the average, was it because the average man wanted to have a beautiful woman? No. Why was it? No. Monogamy is necessary because if you say we're going to develop a polygamous community. Well, what will happen is what the women will do, because women, we are genetically wired to want to procreate with the biggest, strongest, richest man. This right. is embedded in us. It's nothing anyone could play God to say that I'm not like that. Yes, you are, sis. God made you that way. And mm -hmm. it's for a reason. It's how you keep the human race going. Not all men are meant to be carried on. Some are meant mm -hmm. to die out in their mm -hmm. lifetime. Yeah, not all men are meant to be carried on the same way that not all women are meant to be mothers. And oddly enough, this component of female nature that she's talking about is a component of the reason as to why the illegitimacy rates are so damn high. Nevertheless, I'm listening to her explanation and it sounds like she's describing hypergamy as to opposed to describing why men created monogamy as opposed to staying within polygamy. Because I don't think that it's men that need monogamy. I think it's societies that need monogamy. Prosperous societies. I mean, think about all the societies in our world today. The ones that are heavily steeped within a polygamous culture are not the most successful societies 
within the world. And why is that? Well, monogamy is essential to create stable societies. And that's because more men are interested in participating in that society when the resources are more readily available, meaning women. And when you take that away because there's many more women that will be married to Drake in Drake's harem at the same damn time than messing around with your average $50,000 a year making ass. And that's just the reality of female nature, which what she is essentially talking about. And if polygamy was normal, 90% of the women would go with 10% of the men. And my argument is, is that when you have a society where the majority of the men are not allowed the opportunity to reproduce, you begin to create heavy instability within that society. And the men are not incentivized to produce or to work. Monogamy also ensures parental investment from the father. I mean, shit, if you're in a polygamous relationship and you have 15 kids within five years, it is impossible to invest a significant amount of time to those children to become highly effective and efficient and functional within a global competitive environment. And we talk ad nauseum in the importance of having fathers into the household and we have the data facts and statistics to prove it let's see so you are single and we're going to try to find you a man so can you describe your perfect man my like, perfect man mm -hmm. okay my perfect man is oh god six six he's six he's an entrepreneur probably because okay. i need someone who has free time and just can be smart what is with these women that think being an entrepreneur means that you have free time this is like multiple times that i hear these women say this that that's how i know that they don't really know what entrepreneurship is entrepreneurs have less time than salary workers entrepreneurs have less time than hourly workers what is it that they i'll be talking about <laughs> like Yo, I be at the dinner table sometimes when i meet these chicks like randomly and i'm sitting there just listening to them like Oh, God, I want to tell you the truth so bad, but I also want your insights. Because <laughs> I know if I'm truthful with you, you're not going to like the things that I have to say. And then you're going to withhold the guts away from me. That's why, you know, and, and here's what it is at the end of the day. Um, ladies like uh, the um, chinned up gentleman uh, to the right of this screen right here, she's used to being lied to. She's used to not hearing the truth. And she lives in a fantasy world of what men actually have to do to be successful spontaneous like me like one day wake up and be like do you want to go here i'm like hell yeah i want to go there so that mm -hmm. um i need someone who i want to go on a whole somewhat, rant about like, believe in god at least happy. entrepreneurship like, versus salary. i don't want to talk to somebody and they just don't believe in god i want to deal with somebody who's okay. romantic oh my god have love languages like don't be emotionally unavailable and try to talk to me like please talk with um what's the word i'm looking for forgot the word i'm looking for but yeah um intentions there you go talk with intentions date with intentions too okay um i know i said earlier this young lady said to date with intentions but she says she's not looking for anything serious what did she also say i need a guy to convince me to not become serious so you're setting yourself up on a dating show you said you don't want to be serious or you need to be convinced to be serious but you want the guy to be serious guys this is she's a foodie call extraordinaire <laughs> like oh well yeah this guy wants to ask me out yeah so when you want to go baby i want to go hit a ruth crisp i need to be treated well wow she gets into the ruth Chris estate comes out she cuts the steak with her chin <laughs> god damn it i ain't shit um let's talk about looks what is what does it look like oh god six foot you know it's crazy because like i feel like i'm not really like because judging off like what i've talked to does not match this so i'm pretty am open but like my list i would say like over six feet tall i don't know <laughs> Okay, listen, if she's if she's 5'10", I understand, all right? I don't know how tall that she is. She didn't say it yet. Oh, that's like extra of me. I'm 5'2". Shut up! Shut up! What are you doing? It's a red flag if I'd have never seen one. You are 5'2", and you want a guy that's over 6' foot is this like a chin compensation plan
Uh, what else? Oh, how much money does he need to make? I know you say oh, you God. probably want an entrepreneur because he can have some type of freedom. He'll be more flexible. Um, money wise, I would 100K. say 150. 150. Hmm, 200. A lot of money, more money than me. Shit. More money than you. <laughs> We're going to try to look at her Instagram profile in a second. We'll be able to, to determine. Let me stop. I mean, we could be equal or make more. How about that? Like, so I'm not to that. That, but like, I don't want someone that's not making as much as me because I'm not trying to pay for everything. Okay. So how, how much? much is that? Damn. Okay. How much she needs to make for you to be comfortable? To be comfortable, I'm going to be fair and match it with like a nine to five. At least like 150 salary, 150k salary. 150? Is that a lot? <laughs> yes. It's like, not. If you think about it, a lot of jobs these days when you get out of college, the best salary is like 100k. That's like, you know, you're you're okay, you're comfortable. So I think like 150k. Cause I dog, she lives in Connecticut. Hold up, y'all been to Connecticut? Dog, she lives in Connecticut. Her age range was 26 to 35. Ma'am, how many men are making $150,000 in that age range? In Connecticut. 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 This ain't Silicon Valley, mama. What? 150K? All of the 26 to 30 year olds, 99.999% of the 26 to 30 to 30 year olds, get them out of there immediately. 150K? Now she says, at what I make or higher. Do you guys really think that she makes 150K? 28, useless college degree, now an influencer. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. I know a lot of people on who own Genetic kit. They make like, you know? Mm -hmm. Am I like. Am I doing too much? <laughs> Melly, please, for the love of everything holy, tell her that she's doing too much. Please, Melly, this this is, you know what though? Melly's gonna do like what I do like on dinner dates and shit like that when I'm trying to get the guts. Just lie, you know, just laugh through it. <laughs> no, you're fine. Let me continue to pander to you so I can get them some warm innards. First date, she refused to get out of the car because he took her to the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Let me just get the door for you. Okay. What? What's wrong with the Cheesecake Factory? He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this phone. Mm-mm. And she's mm -mm. recording? Does she lock the door? Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? She locked the door. Okay. Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? Oh, I'm hell no! I'm, I'm fine with talking about it. <laughs> Even in front of them? Oh, okay. yeah. I want to talk about it. Yeah. Come okay. on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Oh, no. Someone who looks like this. Ma'am, let's keep it a stack with your sprinkle, sprinkle ass. You are extremely average at best. How did we get here where women can really believe, all of them, are God's gift to earth? You can have your expectations, but attempting to humble him into his offer to bring you to not even a cheap restaurant. Cheesecake Factory is kind of expensive. But to interject how you look like to shame or to humble this man into taking you somewhere else is rude and disrespectful. But notice, guys, how the guy seems to be holding frame throughout this interaction. Don't let him get you out your frame, because then they win. Oh, okay. Oh, she's nasty. Okay. So, so, yes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk you, about it. So you expect a man to go all out on the first date. Is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean, when you take out a beautiful woman <laughs> and you're courting her, because I, I get courted. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. 
You're and supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. That's and, what you're supposed I, to do. What does any of that have to do with taking you to Cheesecake Factory? He's doing all of that. He picked you up. In his car, by the way, in his car, I'm looking at a double sunroof. So you think you could take advantage of him because he makes good money, can afford a good car, and you expected something other than Cheesecake Factory on your first date? Let's just keep watching more. Maybe I'm missing something. I mean, you're wearing deep purple lipstick with a green dress with your mammary glands hanging out. You don't even deserve Cheesecake Factory. You look like you deserve Chuck E. Cheese. But maybe I'm just prejudging. Let's keep on watching. Maybe I'm missing information here. I agree. No, no. I, I went into factory. this date as I expect, uh, with the expectations for myself to okay. keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. to respect you. Sure. Uh, to favor for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and just treat you like a gentleman, which I believe I have done. I mean, you, yeah, and, you've been pretty then, nice, but I mean, and then, cheesecake factory. I, sprinkle, the sprinkle. Hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with. Go ahead, talk to, talk to her. Talk to her. I expect her to be respectful too. Uh huh. I expect her to be cooperative. Damn right. And, and at least, you know. Uh, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Well, I mean, like, even like uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't. Uh, Put your hand around my arm or anything like that? Oh, uh, he's hand. a foodie call. I mean, it's too early for that. Okay. I yeah, don't know you. I yet. can respect that. I can respect that. Okay. When uh, I got to your apartment to pick you up, uh, you didn't want to invite me in. I can respect that too. Just, we're not Again, maybe I don't we're not know there. yet. Okay. I know you. And then, but. I, I mean, mean, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a woman. Oh God, like how is it too early to not hold hands with him, but it's not too early to expect a hundred dollar plus date? How, how is this a thing? But I, I mean, got myself all made up. There's nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. Right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Okay, well look at, I mean. Look at my plan, where we were gonna go originally. See, now that's, that's where, that's where we should have went. All right, right there. Call See, him, call him. No. What do you mean, though? Good. See, I, I specifically I told you both yesterday and this morning. Go ahead, I brother. I come to pick you up at 4 a.m. At 4 p.m. Okay. Right? Mm. And I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour. And so I was waiting downstairs I understand. for an hour. Yeah. Right? But I wasn't expecting for work to take me an so hour. long. I got home a little late. And like I said, I don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this, holy moly. Ma'am, you're confused how you were not being cooperative, but you were an hour late for the date. How do you not equate the two? How can you be this smooth brained? And my G, by the way, an hour you waited? I would have been gone after 10 minutes. And that is not possible. And that's why I'm saying, I'm thinking, okay, if we're not there in the relationship, to you know me uh, look at her apartment, then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a huh? nice fancy rela uh, restaurant as aria big true especially if i'm paying for the whole thing big true which i'm still willing to do i, mean, I would have been okay. but would have if we're late i mean i yeah, told we you weren't. twice I lost the reservation it late. we literally Come left on. your place at the time the reservation was good, supposed to be oh and I specifically said four because maybe we could get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there and while we're in the parking lot. I mean, and we, waiting for a reservation. She repulses we can still get me. To know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, the no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I you, literally you don't said, understand. Oh, God. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong I, with I will that. die. That's okay. embarrassing. Sprinkle, sprinkle! Okay. I, as I said, I have very specific <laughs> certain expectations oh, for that. No. I can tell it's not gonna be there. I ha and maybe we're not right for each other. Go ahead, brother. So, respectfully, I'm oh, gonna no, just drop didn't. you off at home. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, I'm up. So, you just want to call it a night? Yes! 
I mean, yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something? Hell no. Uh, Ladies, can you believe this? I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, uh, if any of the 30.1 women on my channel side with her, just unsubscribe right now. You've learned nothing. There is no growing from where you are at right now. There's none. You're a lost cause. Unsubscribe from my channel. Call your local ASPCA and buy all of the cats. You're going to be a cat shepherd if you side with this young woman right here. You got to be out of your damn mind out of your damn mind I, I, if I don't feel respected I am um, not gonna go through I mean, with the rest of the day well I mean you are serious you really need it. Yeah. yeah yeah I mean you didn't want this place anyway right I mean I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand oh. that I could have been a bit more cooperative. You had, you made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Ah, with a sprinkle, sprinkle don't work out for you, baby. Now notice this, guys. Man sets boundaries. Man earns respect. Notice how now she's getting more into her feminine now. Notice how her voice gets a little bit more soft and a little bit more sweet. Trying to understand because this wasn't a part of her damn program. This wasn't a part of what she expected. But he stood up for himself. I'd argue he's a part of the MT Army. Let's keep going. Uh... I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already set them. Yeah, go and home. You've broken everyone. Oh so my God. go buy I'm your sorry. own dinner. Oh, we're dropping you off home. All right, whatever. Well, I mean, I guess I, I understand. You got to do what you got to do. You mad? Oh, she about to she about to cry? I, I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> you mad? Listen to me, my G. You dodged an absolute bullet. She liked the car that you in, and she wanted to maximize you if you were a simp, but you weren't going for it. And for that, bravo. What you guys just witnessed is a man that understands himself, is a man that is balanced, is a man that's not afraid to set his boundaries and to set his expectations. I will say, waiting an hour for her does put you in the simpest territory. However, maybe he really liked the chick and maybe he was just giving her the benefit of the doubt. Who knows? But I do know that this woman right here is a damn problem. She's too full of herself. All that she has to offer is what she considers to be her beauty and her viscous innards. Besides that, women like this are nothing but bills. Their heads are so big, their egos are so big that they can't get out and ask themselves, what can they contribute to a man? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hey guys, this Hi. is Alicia. What up Alicia? It's been a while but there have been quite a bit of things on my mind. Okay. Um, Hopefully one is an apology. I believe that many of you have seen the uh, well now viral video about me choosing to reject the Cheesecake Factory because I wanted more from my date. I'll be honest with you. I really think that we're saving these young modern women lives, okay? Because if there wasn't a video, if there wasn't social media, if there wasn't a way for content creators like myself to be able to talk about this, she'd end off like a Jada Pinkett Smith later off in life, but way less successful. Want to, well, let me say this. It's interesting to me that just how a moment in time, right? Mm, okay. Can shape how so many view you. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Moments in time have consequences, baby girl. Moments and times dependent upon who that you are or the deed that you did will get people to look at you a certain type of way. See, you know, if I do a good deed, then people look at me positively. 
But if I'm a selfish, immature baby child, then there's consequences. And that's gonna shape how people think of you. Do you think that we think that this is an isolated incident? Or is this a component of the way that you think about yourself as well as think about men? Does this not paint a picture of the delusion that exists within your life? The unrealistic echo chamber when you scream from the mountaintops that chain restaurants are beneath you? Um, I watched. Notice how her car doesn't have the double sunroof like the Indian gentleman, okay? <laughs> she thought, damn, I came up on a lick. <laughs> I came up on something. My car don't got the double sunroofs. I must be dating up. Hypergamy. Wait a minute. You don't want to take me to the Aria restaurant? Cheesecake factory? Where? Where? <laughs> the sickness is ridiculous. Let out. The comments, the shares that you guys, um, the opinions that you guys had. And I have reflected on all of them, processed all of them, that I was able to read. Many of you have been vocal about how entitled I was, yes. how I misused this man. And let me also say this, both men and women, okay? This, <laughs> this, this wasn't a man thing. It was women as well. And listen, I said this during my original video, and I still believe this. If you're a young woman and you side with her and you watch my content, continue to unsubscribe because there's nothing here for you. You're wasting your time. You might as well just do other shit in your life. <laughs> you, might, you might as well go do other shit in your life. You've learned nothing from me. The words that I speak, just they just don't have an impact on you. Go follow another content creator who talks about male shit, okay? Because I got nothing left for you, okay? But I will say that, that the majority of women did not appreciate, at least from the comments that I saw, how it is that she conducted herself. Here's the thing. To all of my beautiful, lovely, sweet, sophisticated, inspiring feminine women that don't appreciate what it is that she did, I still rock with y'all. And the thing is, is I will always say this on my platform, I know that y'all exist. I think it's only 5% of y'all, <laughs> but I know that y'all exist. Cause I know I get y'all emails. I get the emails from married women saying, yo, thank you to your content. I now understand my husband better. Single women, because of your content, I now understand my father better. Because modern, like, they get in these echo chambers and it's just them talking to them. So they never hear our side of the coin and never think to themselves, oh, I never thought of it that way. Or they don't place themselves with their ears wide open enough to hear our perspective. And I want you to understand that my mission has always been for women, to empower women, um, for women to feel respected, cared for, um, not be misused, mis you know, or abused, right? I've seen and heard. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I need to. Re <laughs> Hold on. Man, um, for women to feel. Res uh, I'm sorry. She she's got a mission. Hold on. And I want you to understand that my mission has always been for women to empower women. Um, <laughs> for women to feel respected, <laughs> cared for. For women to feel respected and cared for, baby girl, you got a mission? What is you crazy? A mission to do what? See, these are these forever feminists. Forever feeling oppressed. Oh, it is my mission. It is my mission to feel respected. And I'm gonna demonstrate that by saying no to Cheesecake Factory because he doesn't know my worth. He doesn't know women's worth. What? Baby girl, you bugging. It's your mission now. Big cap. This is their way to try to remove accountability or to paint the optics of the situation in a positive light. I thought I was helping. I thought I was doing a solid for all women. And then you go look down into the goddamn comment section and the women are like, yo, I'm not touching this shit with a 20 foot pole. <laughs> I want nothing to do with this one. You's wrong, wrong, mama. But here's the thing. How many of the guys that are down into the chat right now, put a one down into the building. Chat, listen to me. Put a one down into the chat if you've experienced at least a derivative of the Cheesecake Factory lady. Because I know I have. Put a one down into the chat if you've experienced a derivative or something like the Cheesecake Factory lady. 
of all 31.8 women that's down into the chat, look at all the ones that are coming through. This is why it resonates so much with us because we have all have our story. So when I see it happening to this sweetheart of a guy, I see that in, in myself. I see that in so many young men that send me emails and give me situations and I'm just like, gee, I, that's just the modern woman today purely entitled and purely ungrateful and purely expects the world from you while they deliver bad attitude, obesity, and a body count beyond measure. What? But still want to wear white on their wedding day. What kind of, that, that ain't pure. You're impure as f What? The nerve of the modern woman today to expect to live in her modernness while wanting traditional values. Your masculinity shrine through, my dear. I've seen and heard um, many a horror story, men and women, not just women, men and women. And... Uh, um, Ma'am, you are now one of the horror stories, if not the most scary, <laughs> right? So how you have a mission, and then within your mission, you create the same exact horror story that you say that you're trying to combat against. What sense does that make? Where do you, you just live in a pure and utter state of delusion. Shout out to hella 29 gamer. He should wear, she should wear off white instead of white on her wedding day word. Cause <laughs> you already know, and she's in her thirties. This is not a spring chicken. Yo, listen, I, I just told you guys earlier, I was in Atlanta. I, like the conversations that I have with these women randomly. I walked into a hotel bar. I sat on a couch. There was two women in front of me. I would say, I would say one was probably a six and a half to seven. I would say that the other one was probably a little bit lower, probably closer to a five. One of them just said something to me. I had some ice cream, okay? <laughs> I, was, I was binging, okay? Had some ice cream. She said something to me. We started sparking a conversation. The conversation that came, that came from one of the women, like part of the conversation was talking about like new Atlanta versus old Atlanta. Apparently old Atlanta ranged from like 2003 to like 2012 or 13 or something like that. Back when the music in Atlanta was, was kicking, was crazy. So she was my age. She's 38. So... If you go from a timing perspective, when old Atlanta was popping, she was in her 20s. And it was absolutely her rolling 20s, <laughs> the way that she was talking about her life. And now she's 38, single as fuck, and like dating a guy who she said was dating other people. And I'm like, I didn't say this to her, but in my mind, I'm just like, baby girl, you wasted your time. But here, here's what I did say to her, is that like, right, because Kevin Samuel's name came up a couple times in the conversation, but what I did say to her is just like, you know, because she said that she had a problem with saying that, you know, younger women look better. And I was just like, baby girl, younger women on average have less baggage. They have less kids than you. They have less bad experiences, which then uh, paints a picture of how you treat men today. They're more often lighter than you. Right. Like th there's all of these things that's going on. And I told that to her and she <laughs> the conversation ended somewhere else. But at that same time. This is where they live in, in a state of delusion. So we got to continue to stomp out the bullshit early enough to help these future cat shepherds out. To foster learning and growth, right? But I've seen some interesting interpretations. And it has caused me some uh, more questions. Um, there have been some hurtful comments. What, people wanting to come for my job. It's interesting to me how angry someone can get about something, things that don't directly affect them to the point where you want to be harmful, right? It absolutely amazes me how these women, where's my violin at? It, I, I'm going to get, I'm going to go buy a violin off eBay or some shit like that. I, I'm going to learn how to play for you guys. It absolutely amazes me how they seem to always make themselves the goddamn victim. You had a mission to not um, fostering abuse for women and all type of shit like that. What type of abuse is a guy trying to bring you to Cheesecake Factory, man? What, what is wrong with you? Woman admits to divorcing her loving husband for no other reason than wanting more money. Y'all not gonna believe this video, but we must get active. Without further ado. I've been divorced before, you know, my first marriage. We 
made all of the mistakes. Unfortunately, he passed away. So why did you guys get a divorce? Because I really wanted something different. It's very unfortunate because he was the most loving, wow. kind person. I, I had all the love and support. Shut up! Did y'all notice what she just said? In the beginning, she said, we made all of the mistakes. And then what does she follow up with? The mistakes that she made. Even right here, unwilling to take accountability for even her husband that treated her like gold that is now deceased. The nerve of the entitlement, the nerve of the disrespect. He treated you like gold. And this is what you have to say about him right now. Oh, we both made mistakes. Really? Let's proceed. What I could have ever wanted. But I think I went through a period wanting money. Like I wanted Pay attention. to be with someone and be at a different level. And I saw him work all of the time. It's, it's one thing to like work and work and work from like 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night, day in, day out, and still have no resources. What person works 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night and has no resources? Your definition of need is completely egregious and out of control. This poor man slaved for 70 to 90 hours per week to supply a fantastic life for you. And even still, it was not good enough. What did y'all vows even sound like until death do us part unless you provide me fantastic resources within my life? This is truly and utterly disturbing. And for me to work, do the same, and just want a different life. So, long story short, you wanted a different life and lifestyle mm -hmm. than he was able to provide. And so you said, you wow. know what, F this, I'm out of here, I need more money. Yep. Um, I was selfish and yes. took advantage of a real unfortunate situation, which was what he loved me and David unconditionally. No, you took David. She, she was a single mother. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. Um, sorry. <laughs> you took you didn't take advantage of an unfortunate situation. You took advantage of a fortunate situation. Do you know how many women wish that they were in your position? But see, here's the thing. When the sense and the degree and the level of entitlement coupled with the modern woman, bad behavior and bad attitude, coupled with the echo chambers that y'all surround yourselves in, coupled with the media, the raps, the this, the, coupled with your own past trauma and bullshit within your life, you completely and utterly destroyed this man that wanted to provide the world for you and your son. And with all due respect, I don't know of his cause of death, but right now you got me thinking that he died of a broken heart. Although she's obviously not a spring chicken, the delusion are within young modern women as well. Be delusional. When everybody talk about this whole be realistic, my key to life, the reason why I be having so much fun is I'm delusional as f Bitch, a guy can literally just breathe next to me and immediately I'm like, oh my God, he won't like, he was trying to clap these sheets. He tried to get me in his sheets. Like, just think about it. Who are you hurting by being delusional? Who are you hurting by thinking you are the shit? Yourself. You're gonna be, I think I'm gonna be the first millionaire in my family. Do I have proof of that? The men around you. I don't you. fucking know. So I say again, be delusional as fuck. Like whatever it is in life, whether you want to fucking raise, you want to be your own boss, you really want this fucking guy. Just in my head, I think every fucking body wants me or wants to be me. And if you go back to manifestation, it always says what you believe you will attract. So by you believing that you are the shit, whatever great things are coming your way, eventually it's gonna have to manifest in your real life. So be delusional, fuck this realistic. It's more fun to be delusional anyway. Men don't act like this because men can't act like this because men can't be delusional. We live on earth. We're not in our own realities, flying free as a bird, just being delusional and making shit up and just willing ourselves into being millionaires or just making it up as we go on ahead. Listen, all the 15 and a half ladies that watch this channel, if you have delusional women like this in your circle, you have to remove them because the delusional 
anchor will begin to impact and affect your mind. But it seems like what we have right now is women's content just pushing delusional shit. Why do you think so many of them believe in like astrological signs and shit like that? Why do you think so many of them into like palm reading and like all of this fake ass shit that has been created in order to make them feel better about themselves. Oh, let me read your juju crystals, girl. Oh yeah, what does my moon star circle sign say this month? Oh, am I gonna get a man this month today? Yeah, honey boo boo home girl. The serpent urchin queen is gonna get you everything that you need in life and more. Oh, it's completely and utterly ridiculous. And I guarantee you that the first lady has delusional women in her echo chambers just like this one. He loved me and David unconditionally, completely unconditionally. And when you love someone like that, you really accept their flaws mm -hmm. and you accept less than what you should. So really I should have been a better wife. Every time we saw each other, like you knew that was your soulmate, right? Mm -hmm. I mean- Wow, so he was your soulmate? It's hard because I knew how he still felt about me. He I, just loved you. He really did. And you broke his heart. You're an ax murderer. Oh, don't cry too. Oh my God. <laughs> and oh, been okay. divorced. Oh, hold up, hold up. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, that just didn't just happen. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that, that, you guys can't see it, but she's hugging her. That's, that's the hair right there. That's the hug. She went in for the hug right there. After all of that, after hearing that she is Ted Bundy reincarnated, she gets a hug after all of that. Help me understand that. Help, help me understand after admitting to being a absolutely fundamentally terrible human being, you give her love. Is this how large and how strong the sister code is, the woman code is, that you guys honor this type of behavior? This is dangerous. He took you and I believe what is your child and loved unconditionally and you still messed his life up. Why does that deserve a hug again? Modern women like this don't care about reality. All they care about is a check. They look at men as a pension plan. Even though she received all of the things and talk about how perfect that he was, how he loved her unconditionally, at the end of it all, all she wanted was a bigger check. I don't tell young men not to get married. What I warn men from is what can happen to you if you do get married, and especially if you marry women like her. Choosing a modern woman like her today will be one of the biggest mistakes you will ever make in your life. And modern men like me are watching modern women like this and we're saying to ourselves, I'm good for right now. I got too much purpose. I got too much passion. I got too many things that I wanna accomplish in my life than to have it anchored by someone like this. Y'all wanna talk all day about building up the family and you got home records like this until you start holding women like this accountable y'all better miss me with all that out of the bullshit questions comments concerns y'all already know what to do mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com you guys agree with what i'm saying you disagree with what i'm saying leave it down below in the comment box and let's get active and make sure you put a timestamp on what it is that you're saying so i know which component of the video that you were talking about last but not least i got a patreon link to it down below in the description if you want to be around like-minded dope individuals working on themselves improving their masculinity trying to understand the toxicity of these modern entitled spoiled children women today then y'all already know where to find me until next time youtube